my name is Michelle Gipp and I'm here for stem cells treatment. I'm from Fresno, California and I was diagnosed with LHON, which stands for Leber's Hereditary Optic Neuropathy. I'm Kathy <coughs> Rowe and I am the grandmother to Nicholas Dorado. When um, he was going through all the tests in America and we just couldn't believe what was he was going through and they couldn't come up with an answer. When they finally did say it was Leber's, we all jumped on our computer and said, Leber's? What is Leber's? And then when we found out it was genetic through our, our line, our family line, we thought, nobody has it this was so foreign to us and we stayed on the internet and i wouldn't give up i wouldn't none of us would give up we, we were going to find a way i i do not accept there is no cure it affects the optic nerve and it's genetic through my mom's side of the family so my brother has it and so does my mom and two of my cousins on my mom's side what he ended up with is just the peripheral sight the central vision was just a blur. So you could only see of what's coming at you from the side, and that's it. And um, apparently it's down to the family. We didn't, Nobody that we know of in our family has got it. I just researched it. Like, I read people's blogs and stuff, but since no one else with the same disease has done it before, I wasn't sure, like, how it was going to turn out. Like, whether it was going to work for me, but I wanted to do it anyways. So then if I did it, other people in my family can go and stuff, or other people with the same disease. We just don't know what, what causes it. And it's so rare, one out of 80,000 people get this, that there's no research money going into, uh, into the United States into it. So this is years down the road. And I didn't think he deserved to be like this for years while we were waiting for America to get off the stick and do it, you know? Oh, well, it's hard to read things like like print, I guess, unless it's larger and things far away. I'm going downtown for a VP test to check, um, test your optic nerve to see in reaction to blinking lights to see if the message is being sent through the optic nerve to your brain to, for the reactant. And they've been picking up results and before there was no results. So the stem cells are starting to wake up the nerve, bring it back to regenerate it. Um, I'll notice things like when I read, like when I read things on my computer, usually I have the magnification at a larger font, but now that I've, I've been putting it like lower, and so I've still been able to read it. I'll notice little things like that, or like reading certain things on my cell phone or something. I can read certain things on that, like I haven't been able to before. But like for like little subtle changes sometimes, I won't be able to notice it since I see so much already. I started to not notice anything at the beginning, but also I'm also not patient, so I have to give it some time. And the doctors were seeing the differences by testing, but by me looking normally, I didn't see no difference. But now I see my left eye is more blurrier than my right eye. So I think my right eye's blur is clearing a little, clearing up a little bit more at a time. So it looks like the blur might just fade away and one day I'll see again. It, for my, my condition, they put needles around the eye, the outer part of the eye, around your upper eyebrow to the lower socket of your eye and the sides of it. And sometimes they put the needles in your hand, but those are, I guess, also other pressure points for the eye. Just when it goes in, it's a little sharp, but after that, it's all good. Everyone here is like really nice. I really like it. Um, for it's it's different. Like I guess it's not what I expected, but I didn't even know what to expect. So everyone here came for the same purpose. Like they wanted to get the treatment, so it's like a common goal to other patients that would like to come out here. For now, I say the, it's not a cure, but it's a treatment that can help. Yeah, I'm his grandma and I'm thrilled to be a part of this adventure. I'll never forget it and don't hesitate. If, if you have any of these symptoms or anything and the doctors say there's no cure, get on the first flight out here. <laughs>